So this story is almost so crazy, you might think I'm just making it up, but uh, not even I could make up something this just insane. So I'm reading this article from Kotaku. It was written by Brian Ashcraft. Uh, the title of it is Former Square Enix Employee Arrested for Allegedly Stocking Up Games Consoles for Resale. Um, in reality, it sounds like he sold some of them, and the game consoles that he specifically targeted were Nintendo 3DSs. Hence why we're talking about this. So let me just read this article to you. It says, Koji Takata made his name at Square Enix as a sales manager with his name in the credits for games like Dragon Quest IX. Earlier last month, he was arrested for allegedly improperly ordering game consoles for resale, a violation of Japanese trust law. According to GG Press, the 56-year-old Takata allegedly would deceptively buy Nintendo 3DS handhelds and other game consoles when making contracts with clients, reportedly saying the hardware was necessary, as in he put the hardware in as a stipulation as part of the contract. Um, and then uh, it said that Takata would supposedly resell the game machines resulting in 1.4 million yen, or roughly $12,374, of loss for Square Enix. This is alleged to have happened between November 2011, no surprise, 3DS released that year, and September 2013, uh, the month Square Enix disciplined Takana, uh, and the company brought charges for breaching trust law in 2015. Uh, and then Square Enix had this to say, we're making an effort in employee training to prevent this from happening again. Um... This is just an insane story to me. A guy, I mean, we're, we're talking about, you know, relative pennies here. You know, you're talking over a couple year period. Um, $12,374 is a significant chunk of money. So let's not pretend that it's nothing. But comparatively to what this guy's salary was, I mean, <laughs> he, was, he was a sales manager. Um, so he was at a management level position. And he was probably making more than twelve thousand dollars per year. Let's be realistic. Uh, he was he was probably up near the thirty to fifty thousand. But to risk his career, to risk not just his career at the time, but any possible chance that he could be hired in the future, to essentially steal systems from Square Enix. That by the way, Square Enix didn't need right. Square Enix had had no idea at the time that these systems even uh, were being requested because Square Enix obviously didn't need 3DS units or dev units of 3DS or dev units of Xbox or PlayStation or Wii U or Wii at the time or whatever consoles he was getting besides 3DS. 3DS seems to be the only console being confirmed in this report, uh, but it does mention there were others. Uh, the company like Square Enix obviously would not need these systems in their contracts, right? They would contact contact Nintendo or Sony or Microsoft directly to get these systems um, probably at a much lower cost than getting them from other companies, other third-party companies or companies that they're making contracts with. Uh, so yeah, so he was sneaking these these consoles in to these uh, sales contracts and then taking those systems and reselling them for profit. This is just insane to me that a guy at this at this level and at his age would do this, especially in Japan. Japan is uh, very cultural and uh, highly respectable in terms of their business practices. It isn't just Nintendo that's like this. Across Japan, they have a very uh, high level of respect for the business and the company you work for. It's just a big cultural thing in Japan's business. And to see this guy who, who made it to an upper management position at Square Enix doing this, just, man, how pathetic does he have to be, right? Now, obviously, something could come out of this where we find out he was doing it because he had a terminally ill daughter and he couldn't afford the bills or something like that, uh, which would be a sad story, but it's still not necessarily an excuse uh, to be selling these systems and stealing from the company. Uh, if anything, that's an excuse to go to whoever your boss is and ask them for a better health insurance policy um, or that you're going to have to move on to a, a position at another company that has better health insurance and all that jazz. And, uh, yeah, this is... I'm, I'm just really confused. And obviously, you know, I'm just pulling that out of my butt. We don't know that he has any rhyme or reason to be taking the money other than he just wanted to make a little extra bonus for himself on top. Uh, this is just a crazy story to me. It's hard to believe uh, that somebody would do this at a company like that. Now, someone doing that in the United States might not be such a, a big shocking thing, but someone doing that in Japan at a big company like Square Enix, 
Wow. I mean, as Phantom Renegade said in the comments on the Kotaku article, he stole about $12,000. I mean, that's completely Bush League. What an amateur. Uh, I mean, if you're going to steal, you might as well go for broke, right? Um, But it's just insane to me that the guy risked his entire career and potential future career and now jail time to get these systems to resale. Uh, th- there is so much better ways to make money uh, if you need to make money than this. It, oh, man. Uh, it, oh, it, this is such... I don't even know what to say. I mean, what? Tell me what you guys think about this down in the comments below. It, it's just insane to me that someone would even think this is okay. Uh, this would be akin to me uh, working at McDonald's. Because I used to work at McDonald's, fun fact. And uh, me, every, every time a delivery truck comes in with food, me deciding that I would take, you know, a handful of hot mustard off of the condiment cart every time we got a new condiments, put it in my pocket, and then turning around, going to the street corner, and selling those packs for like 10 cents a pop, uh, which is cheaper than what McDonald's sells them for, and making a little bit of extra money on the side. I would obviously eventually get caught, eventually get in big trouble, lose my job, uh, potentially be dealing with thousands of dollars in fines, and potentially jail time, depending on just how much of that condiment I ended up stealing and selling in the first place. Uh, but it, to put that in perspective, like it's, it's such a minute thing to be doing um, relative to all the things that Square Enix deals with. Uh, maybe that's why he thought he could get away with it because it was such a small thing. Like, oh, they're going to give me these systems that Square doesn't need. So Square's not even going to realize they're missing in the first place and I'm going to sell them and it's not going to be a big deal. Just like McDonald's might not notice they're missing condiments because you know what? They hand out condiments like candy to pretty much anyone who asks for them. So you know, it's reasonable to uh, not really realize there's condiments missing. But, oh man, this is... I can't believe that this guy did it. Uh, and the fact that his name is in the credits of you know Dragon Quest IX, like a huge game from Square Enix, um, and, and to find out that a guy that appeared to be on the path of success at Square Enix would sabotage his career to do something so stupid. Uh, this is just a reminder of, it does, I don't care where you work or how scummy you might think your bosses are or whatever excuses you come up with, it's never okay to steal from your employer. Uh, it's insane to me that he thought this was okay, or even if he didn't think it was okay, that he would just get away with it. Uh, man, all that, I mean, come on. Who Does someone really want to risk their career to steal some 3DS units and, and make a little money on the secondhand market selling them? Uh, man, imagine that uh, I was I lost my job at some major corporation because I was stealing 3DSs and turning around and selling them to GameStop. I, <laughs> this is just, man... I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about the story in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. I just read the story and I couldn't believe it. I had to share it with you. Oh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content. And I will catch you in the next one.